Helen, good morning. Good morning. Lee. Very sorry to hear the passing of your ma'am, and it was only days ago, wasn't it? Yes, it was the 6th of February. She died from COVID. Only four days ago. Yeah. It's fortune. So it's yeah. still it's still very, very, very raw, I can imagine. And it, with, with lockdown and restrictions and everything, and family yeah, well, overseas... I, yeah, like my both my brothers and sisters are overseas and my father just passed away on the 1st of October so they couldn't come for his funeral and they couldn't obviously come for my mother's and with the restrictions, I mean, we understand, you know, 10 people and that's all we had. We actually had 11. I know, and I'll come back to that, but uh, I didn't know that your dad had passed away as well in October. Was that COVID related also? No, oh, no. no, he he died from right. heart heart failure. Um, and, your, and, and your mom was being so careful, I'm told. Yeah, well, she was in Ballyno Nursing Home and, you know, they... You know, they had kept COVID out the whole time and she just, I think since Christmas it got in there and she was just, you know, I suppose unfortunate because from when her symptoms began, she just lasted just under 12 hours. So, um, you know, we, you know, we, the church, the priest was very good. You know, they try to make it as, Normal as possible under the conditions. The undertakers were great. I just, it was the crematorium. We, because we had no one to shoulder my mother's coffin, myself and my sister had wheeled the coffin from the church into the, the church. And when we got to the crematorium, the undertakers kind of set us up. We were wheeling it in and they just came out and said, oh no, we'll take, our staff will take over from here. So they kind of wheeled her in and we weren't allowed inside the door of the crematorium. It was outside in the courtyard. Was there was there was there any kind of ceremony in the courtyard or anything like that? Well, the priest was saying his prayers, but we could because it's like a cave. The wind was sort of howling. We couldn't really hear. It was freezing cold. It just seemed it, I just couldn't understand why we couldn't go in to the crematorium. It was horrible. So there was yourself and your sister and a few close relatives. That's it. There was just, there was actually 11 of us. That's all. The, and the, we were all family because my friends had come down, but she didn't even, she lives in Monkstown and she actually stayed out in the car park because she knew she couldn't go in. But, I mean, the inside the crematorium is big. Yeah, I know it. I've been in there. And you could have a mask on you and there's only 10 of your... Well, we all had masks. So I, even if they didn't let us sit down and we had to stand, you know, something. But it just seemed her coffin sitting out there and we're just standing there. It was horrible. It was just horrible. In the freezing cold, the wind howling... Could you hear yeah. the priest? Was there any music no, playing? We couldn't we we couldn't hear the priest. Now we did have music playing, but it wasn't very because the wind was I sort know. of howling yeah. around. It wasn't um, it wasn't great. I just don't understand why why their restrictions are. I think we weren't allowed in because my mother died of COVID. But she's in a coffin. And, well, this is it. I mean, it was seated from the nursing home because apparently that's what they do now. They bring the coffin to wherever. Sealed, And it's sealed then. And it is disinfected. I mean, it was able to go into the the funeral home. It was able to go into the church. I mean, why couldn't you go inside the crematorium? So you've just answered my question. You were in a funeral home at some stage. Oh yes, she was in a, the funeral home. And was that was, the, was that somewhere? It was that in the nursing home, or was it O'Connor's? Or no, that was O'Connor's in Mayfield. Okay, and ten of you went in there. Yes, and they were great. Like they. So were, why should the cre- your the question is why should the crematorium be any different? Well, this was what I the question. I 
wanted answered. I just couldn't understand. I just think it was cruel. You know... Did you say anything to them? No, because, the, you know, I just felt there was no point and I just wasn't in the... Because we were told by O'Connor's they weren't going to allow us in. So I said, you know, what's the point in saying anything? I I'd probably only get upset and, you know, it was they probably wouldn't change their mind. But it's just when, you know, at the time it was horrible. Then when I came home, the more I thought about it because my father went to the crematorium as well and it was so different. And it was lovely, you know, and we were able to play the music and we kind of done videos to send to my brothers and sister. And um, But when we sent them this time, sure, they couldn't really hear anything. I know, you I know? know, I know. So y your dad died in October, so that was just October gone. Yes. Yeah, so again, we were in, in the middle of this pandemic, but yeah. something has changed with regards to the regulations. You regard them as being lacking in compassion barbaric and cruel yes yeah because it, yeah. It, it, it is it is a courtyard but it's also like a walkway an exit that's what it is yeah. really isn't it it's an exit yeah. area yeah. yeah it's very very sad yeah. I mean it is it's a cruel it's a cruel disease COVID um, you know that's not bad enough but the send off then is made much more difficult by the fact that first it's 10 um, and why could you go into a, a funeral home for the removal, but not go into a very similar enclosed area in a crematorium. I understand it. I understand why you're upset about it. Yeah, really I just, yeah, I just feel it was, I just couldn't understand why that there's only, it's not like there was a hundred of us there and, you know, we're all no masks or whatever, you know, it just seemed, and then the fact that my mother's in the coffin, we didn't have COVID, you know, so it's like I feel well, her, she can't contaminate anyone. And was that the reason given? Did they say that? As well, that's what I gathered from the undertaker because when yeah. they said, you know, you can't go into the crematorium. I'm sure they said because she died of COVID. And my mother, like my father, died in October, and we were able to go in there. She didn't die of COVID, I so I don't know. The like, restrictions weren't as bad then because we were allowed fifty at his funeral. Where I know. Yeah. We were only allowed ten at my mother's. Um, you're you're aware that there were unfortunately other deaths in in, in the same care home in in, in Ballino also. Yes. Yeah. 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 Tragic, absolutely tragic. Okay, well, listen, Helen, um, sorry for your loss. Thank you for sharing your story nonetheless. Okay, thanks very Take much. Take care. Wish you rest in peace.